Let's say you're reading an email and you quickly want to launch the camera. There you go. And now let's say you want to switch your Wi-Fi to another network. Or you want to immediately search for something on Google. And then you want to instantly go to the Play Store to install an app. That is the speed with which you can switch between different apps with the help of this small button that allows you to draw a gesture and launch pretty much anything you want. Of course, you've got to configure them beforehand, but once you do, it's all set and done. If you fancy having a home screen setup like one of these, as you see in front of you, you should check out this wallpaper app called Petricor, or maybe Petricor, I'm not sure how you want to pronounce it. But if you look at the collection, it has a very strong Material 12 flavor, abundant of pastel color effect, and a very, very minimal tone. The collection is spread across a couple of categories like animals, plants, cartoon characters, food, objects, scenery, and so on. Ivy Wallet is easily one of the most good looking and easy to use budget tracking app that is actually useful even in its free version. If you use it diligently to record every transaction, you get a very insightful view of how you're spending your money. What's interesting is that you can manage multiple accounts. So I have like a personal account, a work account, and my PayPal account, and I can manage them in different currencies if required. And obviously you can record income and expenses for any of these accounts. Now, every income or expense that you do record, it can be put in a specific category, which is recommended. You can give it a title or a name, a description, and associate it with a specific date and time. The app also allows you to automate certain income and expenses like your salaries at the start of every month or, you know, payout of rent or subscriptions to streaming services as expenses every month. There are also little things that really add delight while using the app. For example, there's a calculator built right in. You can also lock the app so only you can access it. You can use the app without logging in and maintain it offline if you're really concerned about privacy. And with a widget on the home screen, they've really made it easy for you to record expenses on the fly. More importantly, the app is open source, so the code is out there for you to work with and a completely transparent system, so you don't feel insecure in any way. Now, the free version of Ivy Wallet is pretty good for most of us, but if you do find yourself in the need of, you know, managing more than three accounts or you need more than 12 categories, you can get yourself the pro version. Now, I do have 20 promo codes to give away, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and DM me there asking me for promo codes to Ivy Wallet. And guys, if you really like my work here, a sub to the channel would be deeply appreciated. It really helps me sustain the channel and grow it even more. All right, now let's move on. Now, if you want to do the same with how you spend your time, you can use TimeTune. It allows you to break your days into big chunks of dedicated time to specific tasks. It's called a time blocking technique. Now, do note that this app is not a to-do app. It's not about task management. It's about splitting your day into chunks of time towards dedicated activities, which is all aligned to a specific goal. So you plan your day in a way that it helps you achieve something at the end of it. And I think the key benefit lies in the presentation where the activities on the right take up proportional amount of hours and hence the size indicating how much time they're consuming. What I find really useful are templates. So I created one here for what a typical shoot week would look like. It's planned to ensure a productive week with respect to shooting videos and maximizing output. And all my activities are planned around that. And if you go and see the stats for that specific template, you'll be able to see the balance of all activities and whether that's good enough for you or not. Here's another one, a two day sprint focused just on ideation and what time I wake up, what series of activities I've planned, my eating time, all of this is scheduled in a way to ensure maximum creative thinking output. And now let's say I want to plan my week, two days of creative thinking and one day of office work. So all I have to do is just click on that plus icon, say apply template, and then choose the template that I created. For example, the brainstorm sprint. And automatically it would just pick up those two days and all the activities that I've lined up and put them in my calendar, which I can then view. So it's really easy to plan once you've got those templates sorted out. So yeah, think of TimeTune as a tool that allows you to plan and manage your days or even weeks at a very high level. Like, you know, get a bird's eye view of what activities are planned and are they well balanced to achieve a specific output. And I do have 20 promo codes to give away for TimeTune. So again, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there asking me for promo codes to TimeTune. Volume is an excellent place to be if you enjoy bite-sized content. That's really interesting. Just look at all these topics here. The collection is a combination of what's currently trending and some abstract, but topics that will make you super curious. 
Now, if you go here at the bottom, you will see stacks, which are nothing but magazines, you know, grouping similar kind of information together. So let's say you have a growing interest in the field of finance and investments, then here are some bytes you might enjoy. Or let's say you have deeper interests in crypto and blockchain, then you go right here. And if you want stuff to appear on your feed, then you could just go ahead and tap on the yellow subscribe button and it'll start showing up on your feed. The reading experience is really good. You tap on the story and just swipe through the story like, you know, you're flipping pages. And once you're done, just scroll up and continue with next. And let's say you like something else, like a topic that really caught your attention, start reading it. And you can bookmark it if you want to reference for later. So yeah, I think it's just a great app to open up when you're just out commuting or waiting somewhere or standing in a queue. Just fire it up and learn something new. Let's talk about you. <laughs> you is the icon pack that I'm using in these setups that you see here. They have this lovely pastel color effect inspired by the material you design. And the way I've used them in my setups, they tend to go with both dark and light wallpapers, lending a lot of flexibility in the way they're used. They add a sense of chirpiness to your home screen and the app drawer, which I really like. So it's called U Icon Pack, as I said, and it has a collection of more than 3000 icons, which is pretty good to begin with. I mean, they look really vibrant and colorful, but in a very subtle, minimal way. And the wallpaper collection is, again, amazing. Uh, you don't really have to go looking. You can just use one of these wallpapers and they will gel so well with this icon pack. Now, I am giving away 20 promo codes, so just make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there asking me for promo codes to you icon pack. If you'd like your volume keys to do more than just change volume, almighty volume keys is just what you need. For example, double tapping it turns on the flashlight and then double tapping it again can turn it off. I can also program the volume down button. So for example, let's say it's in portrait mode right now and I want to change to auto rotate and I can do that with double tapping the volume down button. I can activate do not disturb by triple tapping the volume up button and then I can just toggle it off right back. The app is called Almighty Volume Keys and it allows you to remap your volume button and their combinations to do, you know, certain functions that you may find useful. And the list is quite, quite rich. And depending on what you're looking for, it might be in here. So yeah, definitely go for it. The free version is pretty good, but the pro version unlocks all combinations and I'm giving away 30 promo codes so you can do that. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there asking me for promo codes to Almighty Volume Keys. And that's it guys, those were the seven apps for the month of December 2021. I hope this was really helpful and if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.